I am George Emerson. Here you see me with my brother Robert at the North Landing. We are going to take you on a fishing trip on the North Sea in our cobble Silver Line. It is a fine morning and the wind is off the land. In the distance you can see the West Star. There are treacherous rocks at the both sides of the haven. Here we are at sea. It is now 5 a.m. in the morning. The sun is just rising out of the sea. We are going on underneath the Benson Cliff. Now we are all in, in our crab and lobster pot. The gear is made up of 30 pots on a length of manila rope. In days gone by, my father had to haul the gear in by hand, but now it is made much easier by the wind which is driven off the Kelvin engine. It is a lovely morning and the sea is very calm. Our catch is mostly crab and lobster. You'll notice my brother taking out the crab and rebaking the pot. The crab and lobster pot are made up of ash and black thorn sticks, which are very strong. But sometimes, when it comes an orderly gale, we could lose up to a hundred pots overnight. We work up to 300 crab and lobster pots, which we haul by the current and shoot by the current. And now we shall soon be at the end of the line. Now you will notice over our stern the, the North London. And here again, we are shooting away our long line, which is 300 hooks on one line. And we tie six lines together, which reach six miles. Over our stern is Flambra Head, approximately 10 miles in the distance. I am at the tiller, keeping the boat on a straight course. Now you can see a merchant ship going away to the Nord. Our lines are baited with muscle and wealth. And this is our sister ship, the Britannia. Now we're starting to haul our gear, lifting the buoy in and hauling in what we call the end, end cow. At the start of the lines, you will notice cow fish are very tall. But when we get further out into deep water, the bigger cod come along. This is our bait trap, which we use for baiting the line for the next morning's fishing. In the distance is the West Scar, the treacherous rocks which we have to navigate in every weather. Our boat, the Silver Line. Now you will see me baiting up the line for the next day's fishing. Now we are starting to haul our line, which we haul by the tide. In the front of the picture, you can see the compass. 
We stay by the compass in fog, in bad weather, or in snow. Now you'll see my father dropping in the ones which are just slightly hung. The smaller ones are coming in, but later you will see the bigger ones come along. The sea is very calm and we are having a comfortable day fishing. The lines are coiled up on wicker baskets, which we call stacks. There are 300 hooks on one line, and the women folk bait the lines back home when we are out at sea. That is a flambre cod, the native, which lives among the seaweed all the year round. That is another cod, and now you will see the haddock, which has got the thumb mark back of the fin. Christ's thumb mark, which he lifted out of the Sea of Galilee. The sea is very calm this morning, and the wind has dropped. We are getting quite a good catch. Now you will see two fishes running around on the same oak. The tide has gone away and we are having a comfortable haul. This fish has come up on its own with the hair bringing it to the top. That is a young dogfish. When it grows into a bigger fish, it sometimes takes half of the cod and runs away. This is the end of the line. We are about 10 miles out now. Now we have lifted it aboard and are heading for home. That is a starfish, one of the rock, flamberhead rock starfishes. We're now preparing to gut the fish and throwing the inside overboard and keeping the livers for cod liver oil. This is the best time of the day when we are heading for home. These are our flamber head pilots in fair weather or in, or in foul. We know that these birds will guide us home. That is my father. He has spent 60 years at sea, since the age of 12, and now he is over 70, very near retiring. But you can't keep him away from the sea. We now have completed our fishing and are returning to the North Landing, where we shall sell our cats. You will no notice in the distance the lifeboat station on the beach. This is George Emerson saying goodbye to you from Flamborough.